I've never asked for this before, my friends, but please do me a favor. Please like this video before watching it. We need as many people to see this video. Millions of people have already been conned. They've been tricked. They've been hoodwinked by this lunacy. Now, it is utter, utter madness. So please like this video. And if you'd like to be entertained, well, be entertained by the most wacky story that has brainwashed or tricked millions of people into believing that a perpetual motion energy device can drive your car forever and power your house and your city and anything else simply by using radio waves. Millions of people believe that this African inventor is possibly about to be murdered. Uh, they really believe that fossil fuel interests, that billionaires will make sure that he is silenced and his invention is removed from the planet because this threatens the entire planet. It's, it threatens fossil fuels. It threatens the car industry. It threatens the EV industry. It threatens solar. Basically, if this device is real, then, well, Hundreds of billions of dollars will be lost within the space of only a matter of months. So many people are saying that this man, this man in Africa, should have 24-hour round-the-clock security to protect him because if he does not, he will almost certainly be assassinated by the many vested interests that have been covering up this technology potentially for decades. Guys, I have I've received more requests for this video than maybe anything else in years. People saying, please do a video on this amazing car, this amazing, not car, but technology from Africa, Maxwell Mbuko or something like that. Anyway, he has claimed that he has created a vehicle or a technology, can run a motorbike, can run a, a car, can run a truck, anything, and it runs on radio waves right? So you just put this uh, machine into your vehicle, it will run forever. You never need to charge it. It just runs forever and ever. Now, there is a whole bunch of videos on this. A, a YouTube channel called Electric, they actually have 177,000 subscribers. They have done a video on this claiming it's true 1.1 million views. Is this legitimate? Is this real? Well, here are the facts. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Africa Global News has shared an article saying that uh, Maxwell Chikambutso is a young Zimbabwean. He's invented the world's first free energy vehicle. In southern parts of Africa, Zimbabwe, apparently there's something incredible is happening. A young man, Maxwell Chim. Chikambutso has made a groundbreaking invention, the world's first free energy vehicle, a car that requires no fuel, no recharging, and no external input to operate whatsoever. It just runs on purely radio waves. It's the world's first free energy vehicle that um, can just drive forever. It seems to be a miracle. Maxwell's technology is undoubtedly poised to reshape the future of transportation and energy, says Africa Global News, along with a bunch of YouTubers who are, well, very happy for you to click on their videos and get you to watch them because truly this is remarkable. It's a feel-good story. And well, it's um, the kind of thing that gets, well, it makes YouTubers money. Now, Chi Kimbutso's invention is centered around a microscopic energy device he has designed. This device converts naturally occurring radio frequencies into pure energy, effectively providing an infinite power source for vehicles, motorbikes, and generators. That's the claim anyway. Unlike solar power or electric cars, which require charging, uh, you know, sunlight as well, his technology works anywhere on earth or at sea, um, anywhere at all, making it a complete game changer. And obviously, apparently, there is YouTube video saying Tesla is petrified. Elon Musk is um, weighing himself because he knows that Tesla is finished. Uh, it's game over. BYD, they realize they're about to go bankrupt. Every EV company, every car company, they're all finished because of this dude in Africa and his radio wave device. This is what YouTube videos are saying. And people are legitimately sending me these emails saying, look, wow, I mean, it's all over. I mean, Tesla's finished. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me, there is some serious gullibility going on here. 
The implications of this, te this technology are enormous, says Africa Global News. Imagine a world where cars no longer rely on fossil fuels or electricity, drastically reducing carbon emissions and reliance on finite resources. If successfully commercialized, this breakthrough could end fuel dependency, transform global economies and revolutionize transport and logistics industries. Some pretty big claims here. The flagship product of this innovation, they say, is a vehicle known as the Saith, which was developed in partnership with a Chinese company. They provided the vehicle shell and the essential components. Don't know what they provided exactly, uh, he wouldn't say. But the real magic lies in its energy system, which grants it an unlimited drive range with a top speed of 220 kilometers an hour. 220 kilometers an hour, I mean, that's very fast for a vehicle of this type. I'm not sure you'd want to be driving that fast, especially in Africa. In addition to its revolutionary energy source, the Saith also comes equipped with modern features such as self-parking and an advanced driving system. All of this is at an estimated manufacturing cost of US $14,000 per car per unit, meaning that obviously, yeah, I mean, Tesla are finished. I mean, it's game over. They will be bankrupt within 12 months. I'm joking, of course. Now, Africa Global News says that recognizing the significance of this milestone, Zimbabwean president Emerson Dambudzo mm, Nangawa recently met with uh, the inventor at State House in uh, basically in Zimbabwe to commend him for his, in, his genius, his ingenuity. The president described the invention as a world first and emphasized the need to support and nurture such homegrown talent. The Zimbabwean government are now exploring avenues to establish a vehicle manufacturing plant within the country, ensuring this revolutionary technology is developed and produced locally and not shared with anyone else. They're making sure that no one can steal the technology. Now, apparently the claims are this. His invention, which has gone viral, has sparked global interest with scientists, engineers, and investors closely monitoring the upcoming official launch on February the 10th in Zimbabwe. It was apparently just happened. If the free energy vehicle and its microsonic, microsonic is the word they're using here, energy system deliver as promised, the world could be on the cusp of an energy revolution that will bring billions of dollars to Zimbabwe and um, well, change the planet. Now, Africa Global News says this, with such an ambitious and disruptive innovation, questions remain about its scalability, regulator approvals, and widespread adoption. Will established industries and energy corporations embrace or resist this shift? So everyone's saying, this is real, it must be true. Now, YouTubers are saying that um, this guy came from obscurity, from complete poverty, and he crafted gadgets when he was 14 years old. There's no actual evidence of what he crafted. Uh, I'm sure he was a you know, uh, a talented young young man and probably helped fix cars and that sort of thing. Now, the claims are that when he was 14 years old, he built his own turbine engine, uh, a digital navigator, don't know what that is, and some other kind of interesting stuff. And uh, the video says his passion was self-taught, driven by belief in his God-given abilities. Well, guys, that's about all you need to know. This is completely fake news. Um, there is absolutely no substance to this whatsoever. And honestly, I've looked at every video, wasted, honestly, uh, way too much of my time trying to find any actual proof that this radio transmission uh, unlimited energy device was real. And clearly, there's no real proof that it actually is real. As far as I can tell, this is simply a Chinese electric car. Now, the claims are also pretty extreme, guys. It's not just this electric so-called so uh, perpetual motion uh, vehicle uh, or device can actually make your car drive forever without ever charging it it can also charge your home saying you can it can supply unlimited power to your house i don't know how it does that there's no real um evidence or facts behind how it's going to provide power to your house how much power it will provide to your house could it power an entire city i mean why why stop it at a house why not power an entire suburb i mean I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it just sounds all pretty damn amazing, doesn't it? Now, like I said, these, these videos are claiming that the official launch for these microsonic vehicles uh, and microsonic electric cars and microsonic motorbikes that run forever was meant to be the 10th of February. But I actually can't find any evidence that that official launch happened. Uh, and as you can see, the 10th of February has come and gone and nothing has actually emerged from Zimbabwe about this technology other than some pretty crazy claims. 
Now, there's some interesting um, comments here, guys. One comment that has, I believe, about 400 likes on it, so 400 people agree with this comment very strongly, said this. The issue is that they already knew this was possible, but fought every scientist who wanted to help the human race to this effect so that they can enrich themselves by being suppliers of energy. Can you imagine what will happen to all the tycoons? We know who the enemies of this kind of invention are. So in other words, people believe very strongly that this um, actually is real, that this technology has been around for a long time, but that people like Elon Musk or people like um, Volkswagen, Toyota, oil companies, ExxonMobil, they're all suppressing it. They, there's some sort of global conspiracy to actually prevent this device from getting out there. Now, someone else said this, there's actually 750 likes on this comment, Maxwell should be provided 24 24 hour security just like a president of a country because some people in some quarters won't take this lightly. He's a big threat to global powers in energy production. So as you can see, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people believe this device exists. They believe that Tesla and BYD are finished and every other car company. They believe that um, actually, this is a true miracle device. As you can tell, I'm fairly skeptical. I believe this is a fake. I think this is um, preying on people's gullibility, their, their kind nature, their willingness to believe things on YouTube. And this really does actually piss me off because not only is it wasting a huge amount of my time getting all these, I'm probably, I've got at least 50 emails from people. And I mean, when I say emails, I've responded to most of them and said, guys, this is fake. And they come back to me over and over. And it's just a relentless waste of my time. It means I can't get onto the important things to bring, up, to bring you guys content. So not only has it done that, it's also confused millions of people. People believe this must be true. And it's, if anything, holding back the electric revolution by saying it's all a conspiracy. Electric cars are therefore just another conspiracy to try to control us, to try to get you to invest in resources that you don't need. Solar panels aren't needed. All we need is a radiosonic device that will power everything and anything and um, basically be the solution to all of the world's problems. Obviously, it's 100% fake news.